We know the binary search trees are not necessarily balanced. You know, based on the definition, the structure, it could be skewed. If it is skewed, the performance really bad. So big O of M. If it is balanced, the performance efficiency big O of log M. So big difference. So the idea we want to make it balanced. We want to find a way to make a binary search tree as balanced as possible. The ideal case perfectly balanced. That will be the best. For the remaining part, we we will learn two types of balanced binary search trees. This is the first type, AVL trees. All right. Balanced binary search trees. How do we make a binary search tree balanced? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here in the application, because this data structure is very useful in real world applications. Yeah, so that's reason. So we use one chapter to study it. Very useful. Okay. As one of the principal data structures to implement dictionaries. Here we need a dictionary data structure. We want to organize our data for searchable property. So we can search, we can find it fast. How do you find a word in a dictionary? You can find it very fast, right? So that's the property we need for this BST. Yeah. Advantages, searching, insertion, and deletion operations are all in big theta of log M for the average case. For the average case. If we make it balanced, even for the worst case, the worst case, average case, almost the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but here for the average case, the reason here we use this for average case, because we talk about the general BST. It's not, we're not talking about the balanced BST. We're talking about the general BST. So that's why this, big theta of log m, that's the average case. If later we can make our BST balanced, then it won't be the average case. It will be the worst case. Worst case, average case, best case, all the same because it is balanced. Yeah. For the worst case, they are, yeah, because it's not balanced. Yeah. To avoid the worst case efficiency, we need some techniques to make BST balanced. Yeah. That's what we need to learn next. Yeah. AVL tree as balanced BST. So let's look at what, what is the definition of this AVL tree. An AVL tree is a binary tree in which the balance factor, there is a concept called a balance factor. Yeah, we will see the definition below. Balance factor of every node is either 0, 1, or negative 1. You can see we use this concept to control balance property. Yeah. So what's that balance factor? The difference between the heights of the nodes left and the right sub trees. So given a node, we can draw its left sub tree and right sub tree. Okay? The height could be different. Okay? Assume H1 as the left height. H2 as the right height. Here, the difference between, yeah, 
the balance factor, right? How do we define balance factor? Absolute value of h1 minus h2. That number can only be 0, 1, negative 1. That means less than or equal to 1. So here you can see we try our best to make this, you know, at each node as balanced as possible with this property, with this balance factor. Yeah. So that's the control parameter we use. The height of empty tree, yeah, so here. Another thing, yeah, because when we need to define height, we need to consider a special case. The height of an, the empty tree is defined as negative one, not zero, negative one. Why is that? Yeah, so let's look at that. Why an empty tree, the height of an empty tree is negative one? So here the explanation could be like this, because this looks not quite intuitive, not very intuitive, yeah. Because based on our intuition, it should be zero. If I, if I should draw a tree with one node, okay? Suppose this is a binary search tree with, with just one node. It's not empty, right? It is not empty because there is one node. What is the height of this one? Right? Based on our definition of the height, the height is zero, right? No height, zero. Okay. So this non-empty tree has height zero. Next, when we have an empty tree, the height should be smaller than zero, right? That's why the reasonable one smaller than zero, negative one. Okay? We try to separate these two cases. Okay? The zero case, it's, it does not correspond to empty tree. So the empty tree should be, you know, with a different height. Yeah, negative one. So that looks reasonable. Yeah. All right. So with this definition, then we can calculate this balance factor everywhere in the BST. Yeah. How to make a dynamic AVL tree balanced? Sometimes it may not be balanced. So we want to make it balanced. We want to do something to make it balanced. Yeah. An insertion in the AVL tree may cause it unbalanced. Yep. We need to maintain dynamic data. So when a new node is inserted, it will break the balance structure. So we need to fix it. Yep. But what do we need to do to fix it? Yep. Transform the tree by a rotation operator. Here, a new type of variation called a rotation operation. So we change the structure of the tree, rotation. So you can imagine we rotate a portion of the tree, okay? rotation. How do we define that rotation? We will see the definition of the rotation to make it balanced. Okay, all right. Example, so before we look at the rotation operations, let me show you a simple example of an AVL tree. Yeah. Look at this example. Yeah. Based on the definition, this is a valid AVL tree. So how do we see that? Let's calculate the balance factor of each node and see if it satisfies the condition of an AVL tree, the balance factor should be 0, 1, or negative 1. Otherwise, it, it won't be a valid AVL tree. Yeah. 
The balance factor based on the definition, the high difference. H sub L minus H sub R. So left height minus right height. You know, corresponding to the left, right subtrees. Yeah. First, definite zero because left height, height negative one, right? Right, also negative one. This time we need to use negative one. Okay, you take the difference, zero. Yeah. Four, how about four? Zero minus negative one. Yeah, yeah, we will see. Yeah, similarly, you know, all of these zero. But for four, you know, left, it's zero, right, negative one. So zero minus negative one, that's one. Okay, yeah. Also, yeah, this time, negative one minus zero, it's one. Okay, yeah. This one's zero because left height, this is one height. Right height, also one. One minus one, zero. Okay. Do not, yeah, in, in order to do this in a right way, do not use this one minus the negative one. Don't do that. Yeah. Then you will get a wrong number. Okay. So use the height number. The height number. Okay. Yeah. Do not use that, you know, uh, do not use the balance factor number. Okay. So this time you use balance factor number. That's not right. That's not the definition. Yeah. All right, don't use that. So then another one, one minus zero, one. How about that one? Two, right? Yeah, for 10, that's two. This is one. Two minus one, one. Okay. So you can see all the balance factor numbers fall into one of the three cases so it is a legal avl tree all right so that's the simple example yeah. next we will look at the rotation operations in our part 8.4